Hey, welcome back to Biggie Outdoor Radio, bringing you coverage from the SHOT Show 2016 in Las Vegas. And again, uh, folks, you were listening to us here a couple weeks ago at ATA. We were talking about all the greatest and latest products that are out there for archery. Now, we're taking it to the next level. We're, we're going out there for the firearms hunters. This, some of these products actually could cross over. And as I was walking by, I'm again in, in this next uh, lane, which is like the innovations lane at, at uh, ATA. I see this sign that says Coyote Light. And I'm watching, and I realize that these guys have a handheld uh, infrared or, or red light here for, for uh, hunting coyotes at night. But there's a lot of other things that we hunt at night as hunters, and you'll also see on our TV show. So right now I'm going to take time. We're going to talk to Luke. Luke, are you the owner? I am an owner, also the vice president. One of the owners. One of the owners. One oh, of the owners. Okay. There are four of us that teamed up with this. So let's get into the product. First tell us what, it's, what it is and how it works, and then what your first product was and what you're releasing new this year, and, and uh, explain it to our people. So. Well, we have a full American-made predator hunting light. It's available in red, white, green, and IR. Uh, the Coyote light is our first light, high-end, but it's made as the premium predator hunting light in the market. Big features are very quickly fully focusable, half inch of the lens shield rotation. We have a rheostat on the back, so it is fully dimmable. Uh, at 25% power, the Coyote light will give us 48 hours of burn time on a single charge with lithium ion totally rechargeable batteries. Uh, the configuration, we have a Picatinny rail attached to the light. You can put our handle on without tools to make it a handheld scanner, or the light package comes with a one inch quick release scope ring and shotgun mount. So it's it's crossover for any weapons platform that's out there. All right. then. I guess you answered our question a little bit about how you'd recharge it and, and the fact that you don't have to worry about waiting until it's completely dead to be able to charge it up. It's uh, got a lithium ion battery, you said? Yes, totally rechargeable, no memory to them whatsoever. So I can tournament hunt a whole weekend with the Coyote Light and not have to worry about burn times because I hunt with a re um, I hunt dim. I don't want to shock the animal. Our whole focus is just use enough power that's necessary, warm the animal up to the power, to the intensity, and now you have a relaxed animal that you're fully identified. Well, that's great. Now, uh, we were actually talking before I uh, started the broadcast a little bit about African hunting, and of course there's a lot of animals over there that we hunt at night. We hunt the, the smalls, you know, the dikers and the scene buck and things like that at night, gannet cats, things like that. But you were talking about leopards, yes. and you really made some good points on the leopard hunting. So. Go ahead and, and tell me that story again, and that, that uh, scenario. Uh, the typical scenario is you have a guy over there, you know, leopard hunting isn't cheap anymore. Uh, it's not guaranteed, so sometimes they have to go back two, three times before they get their leopard. Uh, the typical scenario is they're sitting in a blind, pitch black out there, and the, the guy says, all right, there's a leopard on the bait. I'm going to turn on the light, and you have three seconds to make a shot of a lifetime. The hunter's nervous. The cat's now shocked with the light. It's a poor shot percentage you know situation with us being fully dimmable we started up slow the situation is there's a cat on the bait I'm going to turn up the light you're going to see eye shine then I'm going to turn it up more and you're going to see the outline of the cat when you are ready and you have an ethical kill shot on that animal I want you to slowly squeeze the trigger that results in a very quick ethical kill and a higher kill percentage with our light versus the other methods. I can see uh, applications of this light being used for guys that have game farms or heck even cattle farmers with predator problems. Um, you know, how long have you been around making this and where have you all used it? I guess what's the craziest thing that you've hunted with it? Well, we're out of Pennsylvania. Uh, we do manufacture. Well, that's crazy. It. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> us Yankees. Uh, we do make this in-house, so this is an American-made product. Uh, being that we came out with the Coyote Light, which was high-end, uh, people were skeptical about spending that much money on a product. But the people that really grabbed a hold of us were the predator control agents, were the contest winners, you know, the people that like to enter contests where they're actually making money off the product. Then the word of mouth has started to flow that the product is real and it's really worth the money because people have been burnt a lot on lighting. And every guy that I know is a light junkie. He has that box of lights in his corners and he's never satisfied with what he has. Yeah. Our customer base is completely satisfied with our product. They tell us this is the last light I will ever have to own. 
Um, on top of that, we have a lifetime warranty on the housing, a five-year warranty on the internal components, which backs up your investment. Now, we're very excited about, we just released the Coyote, the Predator CL1. Uh, only weighs 10.4 ounces. You have to pull the battery to charge it, but it is just as bright as our original Coyote light. So you have all the features of the Coyote light as far as intensity, but without the weight. It can be handheld, gun mounted. So we're very excited about this product and what it means to the industry. What about the big one? Can you mount that on a scope? Absolutely. We have the Picatinny rail attached to it, and the, pl the plus is it has a building quarter 20 thread. So when you get your scope ring, you mount it upside down on your scope, and you leave it there. It's a quick release scope ring. Within three seconds, you can mount that light on your scope, or you can take it off and convert it back to a handheld. We have shotgun mounts, Picatinny to Picatinny adapters, monopods, any way that you like to hunt in your territory, regionally, no matter where you are, you can convert this light to be a, an effective hunting light. Okay, now the important questions, uh, retail pricing and where folks can get this thing. Retail on the Coyote Light is $429. Retail on the Predator CL1 is $299. Uh, you can go to our website, www.coyotelight.com. We have a store locator on there. We have more stores every day across the country. We have several web stores that also sell us. So that would be your best resource to find the product. Can they buy it direct from you? You can buy it direct from us, yes, right off the website. All right. Nowadays, that seems to be one of the best ways to find new products and be able to buy them is if you go and order right online. You have a very easy website to remember, coyotelight.com. Pretty easy. Thank you, sir. And uh, so uh, you said that your website is up. It's live, and so folks want it. Absolutely. Go on and buy it now. Yes, uh, there's been some excellent reviews on Arms List uh, comparing our product. We made the cover of Predator Extreme Magazine with an excellent, excellent review from Andrew Luan. You can go on the forums. There's plenty of reviews where guys out there that own us that use us to tell you the quality of this light. Do you uh, do you happen to know any of our friends from uh, Predator Pursuit or any of those other shows? Have they contacted you yet? Uh, I know Jeff Thomason. <laughs> and he, the matter of fact, the Night Hunting Depot has the Coyote lights. You know, Jeff Thomas and I have a little bit of history. Jeff, actually, I broke a 10-year-old world record. Jeff came in three months later and broke it on me. So. The Mako Shark. The Mako Shark, yeah, <laughs> that's right. Uh huh. So, uh, so yeah, we'll be going back out to try to try to beat Jeff on that one, but I can see those guys where they do a lot of predator hunting being really interested in this thing. This is a fantastic product. Again, we like to hunt the oddball stuff, and we'll be using something like this you know, we could use this in Africa for hunting as many things. Uh, again, coyotelight.com, folks. It's easy. Can't miss it. And if you want to see pictures of it, we're, we got Brittany here doing some filming. She's going to make sure that we've got some, uh, some pictures and some video on our website, on our Facebook page, Biggie Outdoor Radio on Facebook, Biggie Outdoors on Facebook, and biggieoutdoors.com. Or even watch, we're going to put a few small clips uh, of this on our television show. And maybe we'll be able to work some out with these guys and we'll, we'll put this product on TV and uh, demonstrate it for you. So uh, keep watching for Coyote Light, coyotelight.com. And uh, thanks for your time. Appreciate Thank it. You, yep. It's my pleasure. We're outdoorsmen and we demand a good meal. A meal deal from a fast food restaurant just don't cut it for a real man or a real gal. So next time you're in the mood for a good burger, the best burgers in town are found at Bruce Brothers. Fresh ground burger daily, fresh buns, and some of the most amazing recipes found anywhere. That don't even touch the 35 fresh brews on tap. Bruce Brothers in Weston. Tell them Biggie Outdoor sent you and they'll hook you up. Bruce Brothers is found in Weston on Highway X just off Highway 29. Had a good barbecue lately? Head on down to Dickie's Barbecue, rocking and rolling out the best barbecue sandwiches made from fresh smoked barbecue every single day. They're located on Stewart Avenue near Buffalo Wild Wings. Go get you some of that fresh smoked goodness now. Use them for catering your favorite party or grab a quick lunch or one of their daily lunch specials. Dickie's Barbecue on Stewart Avenue between Buffalo Wild Wings and Applebee. Blazing Gifts at 1701 North 6th Street in Wausau is your downtown destination for novelty and specialty gifts. Stop in and check out Blazing Gifts for t-shirts, knives, and other specialty items, including incense, candles, and more. 
Blazing Gifts handles items not found in everyday stores, even custom decals made to order. Check out Blazing Gifts at 1701 North 6th Street, downtown Wausau. Biggie Outdoors, located at Cedar Creek, is reopening its doors soon after its new remodeling. Home to the area's first and only big game hunting museum, with educational exhibits displaying animals from around the world and facts around the hunters' contributions to their survival. Pick up some unique souvenirs and gifts from the museum and from the Big E TV shows. Meet the pro staff from Big E TV and Big E Outdoor Radio. A great place to stop in with the whole family. And while you're there, book your next hunting trip with the Big E Outdoors Professional Hunters. With over 21 personal hunting destinations worldwide, you'll be sure to find a quality getaway with the Biggie Outdoors destinations. Biggie Outdoors is also home to Adrenaline High Geographic. Check us out online at BiggieOutfitters.com and register to win a free hunt. Biggie Outdoors at Cedar Creek. Welcome back to Biggie Outdoor Radio. We're, uh, we're still at Las Vegas at the SHOT Show 2016. And of course, you know, we, we've kind of gone off the innovations lane and we're down walking the main floor in the hunting area. And uh, of course, I've been looking for this booth all along. You hear us talk about it a lot, about our nighttime hog hunts and uh, our nighttime predator hunts and all that kind of stuff. And lo and behold, I got up to the booth and I see the FLIR booth. And so this really cranks me up. So uh, I'm here with, with Angelo Brewer. Angelo, you said you're sales sales marketing? Or sales, sales manager for the outdoor consumer products. Okay, so actually you're the guy that's in charge of the stuff that, that we buy, the outdoor guys. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to talk about, I guess, first of all, let's just tell everybody that's out there that might be listening to the radio show, and for some reason or another, I don't know what a FLIR is, well, let's tell them what it is. Sure, so FLIR is an acronym for forward-looking infrared, and what that means is uh, we're using infrared sensors and we make an image based on heat and not light. So unlike traditional green night vision where you amplify visible light, we're looking at long wave infrared, which is uh, emitted radiation coming off of uh, pigs, deer, humans. And we take that heat, turn it into a usable image, and allow you to see 24-7 um, with night vision, essentially. And they can use this in the daytime as well, right? Correct. We're not impacted by visible light. We're only looking at heat. So you can go out, you can stare at the sun, you can look at lights in the ceiling. It's uh, completely un, uh, unaffected by, by visible light. All right. Well... When we were out and hunting, I noticed that on some of the deer, we could see if they had horns with this. Uh, we also could see, uh, as we were going through the woods, uh, I'm going to tell you about a little trick that my guys made up with a FLIR, but, uh, but uh, we had something set up. You know those spotlights that go on a roof of a truck and they're plastic and you can control them with a remote? Well, one of the guys somehow rigged it up where he was using a FLIR system to see on a screen inside the vehicle and they could remote control it. So as we would drive around looking for hogs, we knew if we were after hogs or deer or whatever. We could see the squirrels in the woods, the beavers in the woods, we could see everything with it. So uh, I guess that's what it's intended for, right? Yeah, definitely. Detection, uh, tracking, recovery. You know, if you're a bow hunter and you're uh, heading in your stand before uh, sunrise, you don't want to scoop book an animal, you don't want to jump a deer on the way in. Same thing coming out. You know, you don't want to leave the stand when you got a big uh, ten point, you know, meandering on in. You might not see him visibly. So, detection, recovery, tracking, you know, anywhere you need to be able to see twenty four seven. So, does FLIR have a, a binocular style piece of equipment for the hunter? Uh, we do. We have what we call a biocular, so single optic, single sensor, but dual viewfinder, and you have the ability to change the lenses on those units as well. So you can go with a 35 millimeter uh, for a wide field of view, or you can go out to 100 millimeter if you want to see a kilometer away, or, or uh, do glassing uh, from ridge to ridge for elk, or something like that. All right. Well, and I know that when we uh, when we were using it, of course, we had one that was a scope, and we could record with it as well. So for the guys that are out there wanting to hunt hogs and predators and things like that they can actually pop an sd card in it and record with with them not not all of them though but right yeah so we've got so, some of these models are uh cameras with onboard image and video capture and we've also got the ability to output analog video on the rifle scopes and some of the handhelds so you can either uh, choose a model that records onboard or you can choose a model that records externally uh via a camcorder a small dvr kind of whatever's gonna work best for you so the wire actually would come from the scope into the camera, like what she's got there, yeah, and we you could can record. Run it right into a camcorder. Uh, it's RCA, so analog, you know, the old yellow plug on a VCR. Run it right in and record it on whatever you got, and it's uh, analog video, so nothing fancy there. 
How long has FLIR been around, or more importantly, how long has it been available to the general public? Uh, FLIR as a company, FLIR has been around uh, since Vietnam era. So we started in the recovering of downed uh, airmen. Um, FLIR has, has transitioned from a military to a law enforcement to a consumer product. So we've had peer what you would call consumer products uh, for about six years now. Uh, but those are a, um, an evolution of law enforcement products. Um, so it, you know, uh, almost 10 years with the, the lower cost uncooled sensors. So in other words, you, you say in that there are some FLIR systems that aren't available to the public. It's only available to the military or law enforcement. Yeah, we do. We do have some very uh, controlled, very restricted technologies. Um, and ultimately the U.S. government uh, decides you know, what's, uh, what's able to be sold um, and it's further further um, you know controlled beyond what can leave the country or what can be used by non-US citizens so it's a, it is a sensitive technology you said sensitive technology that makes me think if I wanted to put this thing in my check luggage take off go to Africa and do a hunt with it over there can I go back and forth with this or is this only for United States use yeah so some of these products are controlled under the ITAR so rifle scopes, um, the law enforcement, some of the full frame rate systems are controlled and require an export license to take out of the country. Um, we do have a line of scout products on our consumer side of the house that are what's called a slow frame rate or nine hertz. And you don't need an export license, you just need to do a simple commerce export. Basically tell the government, I had it when I left, I'm going here on this day, I'm gonna come back on this day. You know, it's a simple export, but that has to be done before it leaves the country because of the sensor of the technology. All right. Uh, well, okay, then the next question, what's new for 2016? 2016 is a big year for us. Uh, at SHOT Show, we've got two new products. One is uh, our Scout 3, and what that is is uh, the latest iteration of our Scout family. Um, we've moved to a full frame rate sensor, so earlier we talked about export. Previously, the Scout line was a, a slower sensor that could be taken in and out of the country. We still have that, but we've added the Scout 3 with a full 30 or 60 hertz sensor. Uh, we've also launched the Scout TK. And that's a really exciting product because of the price point. It comes in at $599 retail, gives you 100-yard detection. It's you know the ultimate tool for uh, you know seeing where it's going on, seeing around your yard, your campsite, um, and, and we're really excited about that product at that price point. The Scout models are they available to be put on a rifle, or are those just for looking for animals that are down already? Yeah, the, the Scout line is a handheld only product. Um, we do have a thermosite line that's designed to go on as a standalone weapon site, so it has a reticle, it's zeroed. Same sensors, same technology, just different housing and packaging. All right, so uh, the, the Scout line, in other words, something I'm going to pick up and use to go out and, uh, what, and, and watch when I'm on my way to the stand or on my way out or look for a wounded animal. Uh, what's a retail price point on that? Yeah, so the Scout uh, 3 240 is our base model. Retails for $1,999. We have a 320 by 240 version, so uh, about 40% higher resolution. Uh, $2,499 on that one. And then we go up to the uh, 640 version. This is a high resolution, so four times again as many pixels, and retails $3,499 on that unit there. All right, now how about the rifle scope itself, one that mounts right on a weapon? Where are we looking for that? Start at $3,250 and go up to $6,500 on the top end, uh, high magnification, high resolution sensor. All right. Still actually pretty affordable when you're looking at getting optics that'll perform like that and be able to be used during the day or at night. Is there any restrictions that you know of on hunting uh, around the, that would restrict you using this technology during the day? Yeah, every state varies, and it can even vary within species. So, in, for instance, my, uh, my home state of Washington, it is illegal to have your weapon and a thermal imager during big game hunting. Um, you know, other states uh, could go either way. Uh, where the regulations are much more open to this would be uh, nuisance species, so uh, hogs, coyotes, um, things like that. But we definitely recommend everybody check every year, you know, check your regs because things do change and we, uh, we can't keep up on it. So This would be a heck of an expensive piece of equipment to lose because you used it in the wrong manner. So you want to make sure you check your regulations before you go out. Okay, now the next question. We already talked about pricing. Where do we find this thing? If I want to buy one or some of my listeners out here right now want to buy a FLIR, whether they get a Scout or they want a Scope, uh, where would you send them? Buy it from you? Buy it from a dealer? Where should we go? We sell purely through dealers, so we don't sell direct. Uh, they can go online, fleer.com forward slash scout, and there is a dealer locator, has all of our online dealers, or you can go to your local FFL and have them ordered in through distribution. Whatever works best, we're, uh, we'll work with them there. How about the ones I see on eBay? Are they any good? 
you know, just uh, buyer beware. Make sure you're buying from a reputable source. Um, but rest assured, FLIR will support you um, as a customer regardless of where you buy. But definitely do your homework and uh, know where your money's going. Well, this is a great product. Again, like I tell all the folks, if you're watching any of the 2016 episodes on our Biggie TV and you see the nighttime hog hunting where we're using the IR technology, that's a FLIR that we're looking through, folks. And uh, we could literally just about tell you whether it's a male or a female hog. Uh, it, it's that good a resolution while you're out there. And uh, when we were going through the woods, there's no way. We couldn't even see these pigs out there. But we put the FLIR up. We could see everything. Oh yeah, stick out like a sore thumb. Hogs, hogs are uh, about the perfect target, so we like we like finding them as well. All right, so um, again, remember, hey, uh, Biggie Outdoors, we're setting up some hog hunts. Head down to Georgia, do some hog hunting. We'll be using some FLIR technology, but if you have your own or you want to get your own, go ahead, get yourself set up ahead of time, and we'd be glad to to uh, take you along. And you will not regret owning a FLIR. I think once you buy one. It'll be probably one of the best hunting investments you ever made, even if all you do is recover some downed animals with it. So anything you can think of that I should uh, add to this, Angelo, or, or anything that I missed? Well, you know, like you said, for, for tracking, recovery, and also the safety factor. You know, when you're out night hunting, um, you know, we always want to know what's behind us. And, and you know, sometimes you, you can't see because of nighttime or darkness or whatever else. And you know, there's also a good safety factor as far as knowing what's, what's down, downrange. Um, you know, beyond what your eyes can see. So, uh, you know, we like people to be safe with it and have fun and uh, follow the laws. That's right. And that does not mean get the scout and then sit outside your girlfriend or your neighbor's house and watch her through the window with it because that's not what they're designed for. This is designed for hunting. So, all right. Okay, right. well, hey, thanks for taking the time to visit with us, Angelo. And uh, we will be back with some more Biggie Outdoor Radio at the 2016 SHOT Show in Las Vegas. And we'll see what else we can find that would interest all of you out there. New, old, Something that's uh, an old product that's coming out with new models, whatever it is, we're checking it out here at uh, Las Vegas, and we'll be right back. Stay tuned. From hauling to hunting, protect your truck bed with Line X Spray On Bed Liner from BRB Auto Body. DuPont Kevlar makes Line X five times stronger than steel. BRB can color match Line X to your truck. Tough just got prettier. Line X forms a permanent watertight bond, and the finish follows every angle. BRB Auto Body believes anything worth protecting is worth overprotecting. Line X at BRB Auto Body, Rothschild. Expect a quality job from BRB Auto Body. BRB Auto Body. Deer collisions, door dings, hail dents, or accidents, BRB Auto Body makes your car look new again. Make BRB Auto Body your number one call when an accident happens. BRB offers 24-hour towing, complete body and paint repair, and complimentary replacement vehicle when accidents happen. Call BRB Auto Body, Highway Double X Rothschild. BRB Auto Body, there for you through all the dings and dents. Expect a quality job from BRB Auto Body. BRB Auto Body. My brother Paul was a real renaissance man, a big city ER doctor, an outdoorsman, and always the smartest person in the room. When he was killed in a deer vehicle collision, I thought it was a freak accident, but I was wrong. Each year, deer vehicle crashes cause death, damages, and injuries. And about one in every hundred drivers is likely to have a collision with a deer. For tips to avoid hitting a deer, visit erieinsurance.com. A message from Chapman Insurance Agency and Erie Insurance. Well, Brandon, you know what I can use after a long day out in the woods? Yeah, a good massage from These Hands Massage Therapy. That's right. Massage isn't just for relaxation either. It's a health advantage. They work on rotator cuff injuries, low back, neck, sciatica, and lots of other injuries. That's great for guys with a long list of injuries like you, and you can get a gift card for someone as well. Yep, and to mention the Big E Radio Show, you get 10 bucks off your massage. They're open Monday through Saturday by appointment. These Hands Massage Therapy on 17th Avenue by Walgreens in Wausau. So this guy came into the store recently and he said it's my 30th anniversary and I want to get something fine for my wife. I haven't bought her jewelry in a long time and it's time. Well, of course, we agreed and we helped him find a diamond bracelet that we were quite sure would blow her socks off. Well, a few days later, he came back into Jim Creeshocks and we asked him, so did she like her bracelet? He looked at us and he smiled and then he said, well, she liked it so much that she... And then he stopped smiling. She liked it so much that she, what, we said. Well, she liked it so much that she, and then he stopped again. And then we got it. So she's very happy, I said. And he nodded. 
and you're very happy, I said. And he nodded again. And I said, now that is what we're talking about. We're Jim Creeshock Jewelers on Rib Mountain Drive. And nobody renders guys speechless quite like... Welcome back to Biggie Outdoor Radio. And we are still... Touring the 2016 SHOT Show down in Las Vegas is definitely the Disneyland for adults down here. Uh, you know, they say making magic happen, and uh, this is doing it adult style here in Las Vegas. But the SHOT Show, uh, again, an industry show that is not open to the public. Folks, uh, you'll come down down and uh, maybe come with one of your dealers, or you can pick up the book and find out what was all, uh, all here and talk to some of your local gun dealers, your local archery shops, and tell them what you've heard uh, from Biggie Outdoors on ATA show coverage and our SHOT show coverage, because I tell you, this is where the latest and greatest stuff for hunting is for all different kinds of hunting. And um, again, we are back up this morning touring the Innovations Lane, or what you call the Next Lane. And again, we stop by when we see a product that we think it merits uh, some extra attention, something that you, our listeners and viewers, would be interested in hearing about and also be able to use. So we do pass by a lot of booths. Uh, that doesn't mean that their products are, are uh, not good. Sometimes they just don't fit our application. But let me tell you, if it's got to do with shooting, if it's got to do with hunting, you're going to find it at the SHOT Show. If it's got to do with bow hunting, you find it back at the ATA show that we did in Louisville. It'll be in Indianapolis next year. So we're going to take a break here quick, and then as soon as we come back, I'm standing here right now waiting to meet with uh, some folks from Metaloid. Metaloid, it's uh, with two L's, Metaloid, and they make a bunch of gun care products uh, for cleaning, gun oils, stock oils, leather oils, and some actual what they call duck hunting delight, and this stuff here is supposed to waterproof your weapons. So uh, as soon as they get done with their interview, we're going to cut right in and talk with one of the spokesmen here and learn a lot more about the product. So it uh, looks like he's available for us, so I'm going to stop in here, and uh, we're with Robert. Robert Turner, you, you work with the company. How long have you been with? About three years, but I've been a customer for 30 years. So I, I, I basically retired and decided to go through and uh, start another profession. They told me that wanted to come work for me so I can live anywhere I want. So I live in Arkansas. The company's in Michigan. I cover the United States, Mexico, Brazil, and China with my uh, product right now, and this is just one of our products. Well, Arkansas is a better place to live and a lot warmer than uh, than Michigan, that's for sure. That's for so, sure. I'm from Wisconsin, so you, trust you, me. You can appreciate it. I'm liking Las Vegas right now. So start right at the beginning. Tell me like where the product came from, how it got developed, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, we're a chemical company, 60-plus years in Michigan. We've been making stuff for manufacturing, for industry all that time. I have 1,100 products in our product line. I do everything from soap to water. I mean, literally anything you can imagine in liquid you could use in a manufacturing setting, I made. All of it from scratch. In this particular situation, we found three years ago when I started working with them, we started talking about this. We had three products in our product line we were already using for other purposes that are, are better than anything on the gun market. Everybody else puts oil and grease on a gun, and they call that lubrication. They call that protection. It comes right off, and it cooks right off. Then you have to have a heavy chemical to remove it. These particular products were designed... The, the gun bore cleaner actually is a, it leaves a dry film on the inside of the weapon. It goes through and reliquifies at operating temperature and dries back to a patina without drawing carbon. Uh, this has got a two plus a year uh, rust prohibitive in it, good for that period of time. Uh, it is, this would be a complete replacement for WD 40 without all the uglies in it. In other so, words, you, you could so use it in many applications. I was going to say you could use this on more than guns. Then. Oh, for sure. Squeaky doors? In, in, in squeaky doors. i got two realtors in Arkansas that want to get a bottle from me every time they see me. They use it for opening doors on houses. And I thought it, you were going to say because they're so tight they squeak. Yeah, that could be too. <laughs> that could, they didn't buy them. They, I give them to them. Uh, the Green Gun Oil, second product, is, uh, and everything passed here with these products here are all full bio, preferred bio, um, a botanical. This one's got some solvent in it. It's not. A little okay. bit of oil in it. But this particular product, will, the Green Gun Oil, will remove rust right off the blue surface, right off the camo, without cutting the finish with a cotton cloth. There's not anything else in the market that will do that. Uh, this will also leave a rust pretty good for two-plus years. 
What we discovered in our early days, we found out that this would take a plastic stock on a long rifle, a Glock, or a, a Springfield and take the plastic that turns gray and dusty after many, many times from the oil in your hands, from the sun, and from the carbon and make it look brand new again. So it'll do an armor all effect on There's nothing else on the market that will do that. And you won't want to put armor all on a gun. It'll make it greasy. Yeah, right. Just like it does on your dash. Wait, before you jump on, go back to that. You said that this will remove the rust from something that's been hydrographically dipped or whatever without without necessarily without affecting removing. the finish. Okay. So I mean in other words this will take flash rust off. I have a guy bring me a gun that's been five years and it's gotten pits in it. I can't put the pits back. But I can take any of the flash rust off the surface. I had a gentleman uh, uh, at the Stuttgart, Arkansas went duck hunting with a new Browning shotgun with a camo on it. All day he was in the rain, got completely soaked, got home, he was tired, put it back in the rack. Six months later, he gets it out of the rack. The gun is entirely orange. He only used it once. His wife bought it for him for a present. He comes to the gun show in Arkansas, and he asks the question. He says, can this be cleaned? And I said, yes. He said, how much would that cost? I said, all you need to do is buy a bottle of fluid. But leave the gun with me while you walk the show. And he came back. I wish I had a before and after picture right now. I didn't do it at the time. The gun looked brand new. It was orange when he brought it up to me. It oozed out of every joint on that from the rain. You know how caustic rain is when it gets on anything. It does a great job, but it'll also take reconstitute the plastic. We have a, a, a stock oil, and this, this is a wood-based oil. Uh, all of these are made from seed byproducts. Uh, we replicate everything in hydraulic fluid and grease. I can do anything that's in a petroleum, in a botanical. Uh, but in this particular situation, in the wood product, if you want it for open pour wood, you wouldn't put it on top of a sealed sh shotgun surface because it'll just make the surface greasy. Right. But uh, if you had one that was used a little bit and was, the surface was broke, a rancher or a farmer's gun, somebody's had a gun for years, this would go right into the wood, much like a linseed oil would, but of a much better quality. It won't go rancid. Doesn't have a high odor. Uh, the leather oil is made with mink. We're an Amish country in Michigan, and uh, we've been selling for 30 years to the Amish community for harness work. Uh, but this leather oil is really great. It, it's great for boots, for uh, belts, wallets, uh, holsters, anything like that. Put it on very uh, a little bit and work it in with a rag. The Duck Hunter's uh, Delight is uh, actually a super waterproofing, and this particular is like Rain-X for a gun. Basically, what it'll do is you can go through, and I can coat the inside and outside of a barrel, and I can stick that barrel down in a bucket of water and lift it out, and it'll be dry when I lift it out of the water. So the water won't stand on, the surface tension, it won't stand on. So actually, after you, uh, or excuse me, actually after you, clean this weapon, get all the rust and stuff off it, you treat it with the... the if you're going to do some severe weather. This, these other two are fine for normal t yeah. hunting. This one would be a foul weather, below freezing weather, that kind of thing, where you want to protect your gun ultimately. Uh, what's great about this, it gives you a much more extended rust protection. It'll keep a shotgun from freezing or a gun from fouling from uh, the weather. I've had many guys that had guns that went swimming in the lake when they were duck hunting, shook the water out of it and shot the rest of the day without missing one shell, without it freezing up below 18 degrees. Be a great one for your area of the country, Wisconsin. Yeah, it gets a little cold there. A little bit. <laughs> Sometimes the water is frozen there, though, so you don't yeah. have to worry about getting on anything. Yeah, our water doesn't get anything wet either. It's, it's, it's a black it's, ice. It's, yeah. <laughs> the last one is a botanical hand cleaner. It's great. It's got lanolin in it. It will take carbon off your hands to the point where you could be shooting at a range, go straight to the airport and have your hands wiped with it. Done to me many times. I never have any traces of carbon that they would be concerned about or gunpowder. It'll also take uh, fish slime. It'll take anything else, uh, grease, and you can use it with or without water. All right. That's great. So that's the full lineup right that's here. That's the full lineup. I have two more products in development, a green gun grease and a, a green uh, gun cleaner. So, uh, And those will be coming out sometime late this year. So not only is this stuff good for your gun, but it's good for the environment. Oh, for no. sure. Uh, all of these are bio-preferred. All but this one are all bio-preferred on this side. We get a rating from the federal government that we are a green product. If I poured any one of these out on the ground and came back six weeks later, the earth would have taken it back. Can't say that with anything petroleum. You pour it out in a thousand years, you'll come back, and wherever you poured it out, that byproduct is still there in the ground. Right. You could drink any of this. It would have an effect like castor oil or something. It would You would have an effect. It wouldn't kill you on this side of the spectrum because they are full botanicals. All right. Now, we're... We're dealing with a lot of folks that listen to our show that are either Midwest or Southeastern United States, Florida, Georgia, places like that. So uh, I know you said you have some distribution locally around your neck of the woods, around Arkansas, but where are we going to find this? We want to buy it. Well, right now, uh, I mean, I, we can buy it online and we have a website. We're also in a situation where I'm in about 61 retail stores. I do have a distributor in Wisconsin. Oh, I have okay. some in uh, Louisiana, so I go across the whole gamut. 
Uh, we're still looking for large distribution. It's real simple to get involved if they're interested. Uh, we're looking for distributors anywhere, and I would tell them they buy it for their own use. They could buy as little as a case of 12, or they could buy some of these gift sets so they have the full spectrum and go through and sell it to their friends. And uh, typically they've run between 4 and $5 a bottle. The wholesale is about $1.95. So you can't beat that. This would normally run $30 retail. Uh, we normally sell them for $25 in the show. In this particular situation, uh, wholesale cost is about $10.50. You can't beat that. No, there's really no reason that a lot of these, even small archery shops, wouldn't have this. I mean, you can treat your bow. You can treat a lot of things with a lot of, A lot of things like that. I've tested all of these products with bow strings. Uh, there, there are some rubber bumpers on a, a compound that they use for dampening that are a real cheap rubber that will make them sticky. Uh, I, one of my demonstrations at the gun shows I do is I pickle my Glock in, a, in it all day long so that people can see that's my pistol. I wouldn't put it in something that I was afraid won't fix the, the base of the gun, the polymer base, the plastic, anything on the working, any of the sights or anything on the gun. Wow, that's great. Um, okay, you said you got a website, so if I want to buy it and I don't have a dealer close by, Oh, well, first of all, I should be telling my local gun shop that I, that they need to buy this stuff. Correct. But uh, we can get it at uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try this. It's MetalloidFirearmsProducts.com, right? Is that it? Correct. You don't have an easier one? I wish I did. <laughs> you can, okay. You can call me if they wanted to. There you go. Uh, you have an 800 number, 800-686-3201, so they can call and talk to somebody at the company. I don't know. Do you answer that phone? Uh, I don't. I'm in I'm in Arkansas. The phone's in Michigan, but they'd oh. get to me. Uh, Tom's in Birmingham, Alabama, our sales manager, uh, but we're scattered out all over, so yes, they could get to me one way or the other. Uh, they could drop us an email. I, again, I'd love to talk to somebody. Uh, there's no buy-in to do this. You buy wholesale, you sell retail. All it needs is the commitments, you're going to do it, uh, and, and we'll set it up well. And I, and I even come to areas if somebody's really interested. Here in the show right now, I'm offering if they'll buy $500 of the product, we'll ship that to them for free, no, no freight charge. In the future, there'll be some charge. But anyway, it's a good place to get started. But, uh, so for the end user, they always will end up with uh, a bottle this size. You don't make it in bigger size. Oh, I, I can make it up to a tractor trailer load. I sell uh, ounce, uh, to two ounces, four ounces, uh, pints, quarts, gallons, five gallons, 55 gallons, and totes, and I can go all the way up to a tanker full. So we're not really limited. If somebody said they want a larger quantity, I don't have those in the retail settings right now, but I do sell gallons quite frequently to gun smiths and other things that would use it. Uh, one of the other sales tactics that we've talked about is I go into a shop, I set them up, I set it, I'll supply them a one gallon with a snow cone pump and they just tell the guy when it gets empty to bring it back in and refill it for half price. Pretty nifty way to get somebody to browse that wasn't going to spend any money today to spend some money. Because when we browse, we buy. Right, right. Well, and that's why I was asking. I do know some guys that make custom rifles and things like that and I'm uh, I know one fellow that uh, dealt with us not too long ago, and he had some 50 cals he was making for the military, and a couple of them got rusted all real bad. Uh, this would be a great product for that. I mean, I, we could teach him how, uh, with our 1100 product base, I, I do any kind of machining, any kind of cutting, anything that has to do with processing anything, I have a fluid for. Okay. All right. Well, we'll pass that along. And again, it's, uh, it's Metaloid with two L's in it. It's metal, the word metal, and then Lloyd, L-O-I-D. Firearmsproducts.com. You can check them out. You already heard what the retail of this stuff was. Is uh, five bucks a bottle. You got a little gift pack here. Six, six bottles in it. Thirty bucks. Thirty you bucks. Buy it at a show for twenty-five on special. And uh, so for the retail folks that are out there listening, uh, this is a great product. And Nick, you can't go wrong for that kind of money. I agree. Yeah. And again, I'm in love with the product. And I always tell people, let me give you some. I, I do a hundred percent money back guarantee. If anybody's not sad, if they return the bottle, I return their money. I've not had anybody take me up on that in the three years we've been selling. And I've sold tens of thousands of bottles. How'd you come up with the name Boar Tough? Uh, well, you know, it was interesting. We went through and did a, uh, we, we thought the boar was a good symbol. Uh, people like to shoot boar, and it's kind of a tough boar. Uh, we did a, a, a contest, and we had 800 people apply for the contest in design and took the boar concept, and we picked the one we wanted out of that group. So they did a great job with the, uh, basically the, the board tearing a hole in the side of the can That's to get awesome. out. It is awesome. And again, yeah. we, we love it. Everybody comes up. This, uh, they like the logo. If I was giving away uh, logos or stickers, I'd probably have everybody in the show, one on the truck somewhere. You could actually uh, probably make a little bit of money selling decals for a, a buck or two uh, with, that looked like and that, we I imagine. We probably will do that at some point. We've been yeah. talking about that. But, uh, yeah. Well, again, folks, uh, you want to see pictures of this, a little bit of video. We're going to have some of this online. 
Go to Biggie Outdoor Radio on Facebook, Biggie Outdoors on Facebook, or to our website, BiggieOutdoors.com. And now that we have a little video and some sound, we'll put that together. We'll even put some of this on our up-and-coming uh, hunting shows. We'll put some little advertisement for this. And they were gracious enough to give us a little bit here. And so when we go home, we're going to actually use it on our, our weapons, and then we'll let you know personally what we thought of it. But again, Metalloid firearmsproducts.com and uh, you can find the website also on our Facebook page as well. Just go there and look for it. Is there anything that I missed? I think you did a great job. I appreciate you stopping and going through and uh, uh, going through the questions. So I, uh, we're really excited and really interested in carrying this product on to share it with others. That's great. Hey, folks that are listening that are close by our museum and pro shop, I think we're probably going to pick some of this stuff up. We'll get some information from them. And we'll probably carry it right there in the pro shop. So if you guys want to stop on by Cedar Creek Mall and check out the Big Outdoor Big Game Museum and, uh, and some of our products that we have there, uh, this is one of them niche products that we probably would want to have on the counter. It's that good. So, uh, again, MetalloidFireproducts.com, and we are going to continue our coverage at the 2016 ATA Show in Las Vegas and see what else is out there that you might be interested in and we might be interested in and check out some of the latest and greatest products for hunting. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Appreciate it. Blazing Gifts at 1701 North 6th Street in Wausau is your downtown destination for novelty and specialty gifts. Stop in and check out Blazing Gifts for t-shirts, knives, and other specialty items, including incense, candles, and more. Blazing Gifts handles items not found in everyday stores, even custom decals made to order. Check out Blazing Gifts at 1701 North 6th Street, downtown Wausau. Had a good barbecue lately? Head on down to Dickie's Barbecue, rocking and rolling out the best barbecue sandwiches made from fresh smoked barbecue every single day. They're located on Stewart Avenue near Buffalo Wild Wings. Go get you some of that fresh smoked goodness now. Use them for catering your favorite party or grab a quick lunch or one of their daily lunch specials. Dickie's Barbecue on Stewart Avenue between Buffalo Wild Wings and Appleby. Well, believe it or not, spring will come again, and it's time to start thinking where you're going to store those extra toys. Call Denny at the Shed Shop in Eland and Shano. He's got quality Mennonite-built sheds in all sizes. Use them for storage, hunting, or even the ice-fishing Taj Mahal. Call Denny at the Shed Shop in Eland and Shano, 715-584-3050. The Shed Shop. Well, the cold weather is finally here. You better get your oil change and take care of your ride. Go straight to Thunderloop on 17th Avenue in Wausau, near the National Guard Armory. No job is too big or too small. They do everything from oil changes to major overalls and every repair in between. Check them out and get those heaters inspected and get your wheels ready for winter. There's no appointment necessary and get a punch card and you'll save money on your future visits. Thunderloop on 17th Ave in Wausau. It's the ultimate tailgate event. Your chance to score. Big savings at Stark GM of Merrill. Last month, Stark finished 22nd in GM certified sales in the entire United States of America. So if you're looking for a GM certified pre-owned, Stark is the place. Find 30 certified pre-owned cruises starting at $9,995 for $149 a month. Choose from 14 GM certified Chevy Impalas starting at $12,988 for $196 a month. Or lease a new 2015 Chevy Cruze just $69 a month. And Stark is your truck headquarters. And that's why you can save up to $11,000 on select 2015 crew cabs. Hurry! This ultimate tailgate event ends soon at Stark GM of Merrill at Highway 51 in Q. Or visit us at StarkMerrill.com. Plus tax at license fees. Cruise selling price $99.95. $149 a month. Zero down. 72 months. 3.49%. Impala selling price $12,988. $196 a month. Zero down. 3.84% APR. 75 months. With approved credit. 24 month lease. 10,000 miles a year. 44.50 in rebates included. Must currently lease a non GM vehicle. While supplies last. See dealer for details. Based on August GM certified. Hey, welcome back everybody to Biggie Outdoor Radio and we are still covering the great products at the 2016 ATA show down here in Las Vegas among other things and the nightlife world here is, is great too but uh, I'll tell you what by the time the day is over 
and I've gotten done talking with all these people that have these great products, you know, we're pretty pretty wiped out. So I think we're going to have to come back and do the adult fun here at uh, Las Vegas another time. Anyhow, this morning I'm back up on the next line, which is uh, similar to the Innovations Lane at our ATA show and uh, here at the, the SHOT Show in now uh, Vegas and what we're doing is uh, again picking out products that we think you our listeners and viewers would be interested in and also that we can use ourselves now concealed carry is kind of a newer newer thing to Wisconsin where everybody's getting into it and we got everybody going down getting your concealed carry licenses we all have home defense but what about the problem when uh, we have to grab it quick and we're looking for it and it's not where we want it to be because we have kids in the house. You got grandkids coming over in my case, other people do. And what happens, we come in and and we have to hide it someplace a little better or we can't just leave it in the nightstand. Now we either can't get at it or the kids can get at it if we make it nice and handy and uh, that's a big issue. So as I'm walking along, I come across this company called Arms Reach, Responsible Handgun Storage and I'm watching their little video. It's amazing. Uh, it was it. We're going to actually get a copy of this video from their YouTube, post it on our Facebook, or give you a link to it so that you guys can see it. And once you see the product, you're going to love it as much as I do. So if you're a concealed carrier, if you're uh, somebody that has a pistol at home for uh, home defense, whatever, we're going to jump in here and talk with the owner of Arms Reach right now. We're with uh, Chris. Chris, I'm not even going to try your last name. That's Chris Wykey. Okay. Uh, go so Chris. Tell me a little bit about, the, about first of all, how you got started, uh, where the product came from, and, and all that. I mean, I might have stolen some of your thunder, but go ahead. Oh, absolutely. Uh, this product came about from that same situation you just spoke about. I, I had an incident in my home where I had taken my gun from my nightstand and put it underneath my bed mattress because we had a lot of people coming over to the house that evening. And incidentally, a five-year-old found my gun that was not my five-year-old. Oh, uh, walked through the entire house trying to find his, his father with a loaded handgun in his house with about 40 people in, his, in the home. Thank God nothing took place, but it was just an eye-opening experience for me of how do I keep this thing safe that I bought uh, to actually protect my family with, which is, at this point it's caused more harm than good. Um, so it really started me in the development part of it um, and looking to how do I keep it where I want it, which is beside my bed, um, and still keep my family safe and still get quick access to it. So that's what we developed this as of, and we are only, the only product in the industry that actually has specifically made for the side of the bed. Um, we have now have so many options that uh, people want us to go elsewhere in the house, uh, but we are either attached to a vertical surface, uh, which is either a desk or the end of a countertop or a wall, stud wall, garages, front doors, whatever you want to go to. But the original design was simply an arm that goes between the box spring and the mattress, holds a completely enclosed case that you open with and control with your fingerprints. Push button code is our secondary entry, and then we have a manual key on the back side as well. But the other unique thing about us too is we integrated some software into having a full LCD on the front of this case uh, that allows us to have a history mode, which allows us to actually have a tattletale feature for children. So we can actually program your children, grandchildren, whomever else you do not want to have access to the case, deny them access because mom and dads actually have a tattletale feature. You can go see the last 15 attempts to get into the case. So if little Johnny or little Mary's in there playing with the case, you'll know which child is actually playing with the case. And it allows you to discipline as you need to. Um, and or, or to train as we need to. It always starts with education, um, but you have to inspect what you expect out of children. Uh, the best kids in the world make bad choices. So do you have uh, on file anywhere the fingerprint for the famous not me? Uh, <laughs> No, we do not. Uh, we do not store fingerprints as in or we can copy them, things of that nature. Um, but anything that goes into our case only stays in our case, if that's what you're referring to. No, no, I was referring to the fact that when you got a lot of kids in the house and then you say, who was messing with this thing, trying to get the pistol out, it is always not me. I don't know where this guy lives, but he's in all of our houses. Yes, I agree. I completely understand that. Yeah, my kids have always said, no, it wasn't me. Who spilled that? No, it wasn't me. I don't remember. But... Uh, but we can solve that issue for you completely because little Johnny's got different fingerprints than little Mary, and uh, he can't point at little, little Mary. I guarantee you that. So, so what if if, uh, if the tattletale feature is on and somebody, let's say you do have a, a guest party or whatever, and somebody else tries to get in there. You won't know who it was, obviously, because you don't have their fingerprint, but you know somebody tried to get in. That's absolutely correct, and that's a neat feature you just pointed out. We actually come out with an unknown. So it will it will give you a denied entry in unknown. So you're still going to have that security well, that, side. That's not me, the unknown. Uh, exactly, exactly. And uh, but, but yes, we have that feature built into it as well. So if you want to track 
each individual person in the house, we can do that. But otherwise, let's say you have a housekeeper that you don't have children, you just have a housekeeper or the termite guy or anything of that nature. Um, still, we can track and see that it was an unknown attempt. Uh, does it give you a time? It, it does not give you a time um, because we, we don't do a time stamp or time date, but it just gives you that awareness that, hey, somebody at some point is trying to, to access this case. So, And I suppose you see that fingerprint pop up more than once. You know that somebody really wants to get in there. So that, That's exactly right. So, And that gives you the ability to either, uh, whether the housekeeper to like the termite guy to your own kids, uh, allows you to actually know and, and be able to work through that. Now, I see that you also have a, a cable system so you can lock this thing to the bed. Nobody's going to run off with the whole case on you. I would imagine you could mount this in a vehicle if you had a big SUV, if it's a vertical surface. Well, it's a good point. We do actually tether them to the bed. Uh, there's no installation with our arms. There's just simply an arm that goes between the box screen and the mattress, holds it in place. But we're going to give them a couple hurdles to get over. They're either going to have to cut a cable or kick your bed frame apart or something of that nature. Now, car model-wise, we actually have a car model coming out. We do not. This is what we call our Defender Series and our Armor Series, uh, our full polycarbon cases and also 16-gauge steel cases. But we don't secure the gun well enough in these to actually do it for a walk for a car mount. But we are building a specific model for a car. It should be out in first quarter. Yeah, that one would interest me quite a bit. You said that's actually going to be out this year yet. Yes, we've actually got the prototypes done. It's actually on our Facebook page now. Uh, so you can actually go and look. Uh, don't judge us too much on prototypes, but uh, uh, we, we had changed a few little things. Uh, hopefully for in the first quarter, first to second quarter, we should have that in production and ready to go. So when we come back to the SHOT Show in 2017, we'll be able to look at the car mount. Absolutely. Hopefully okay. we'll be on the big floor. Well, actually, you get a lot of attention out here. This is not a bad place to be. People can find you a lot easier. That's right. And, uh, you know, there's time. I guess I, I probably would like to be out here for a couple of years if it was me. Well, we won't give this space up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, so, okay, then uh, I guess let's talk about retail pricing. I don't know if we did that already, but we'll tell folks what this thing would cost them. And then we also need to tell them where they can find it because uh, this might not be at your local sporting goods shop just yet. But I'm sure that you can order this direct from the folks at Arms Reach. You can, absolutely. Uh, we are at armsreachgun.com uh, or armsreachrm.com. The RM stands for Responsible Manufacturing. Retail pricing, uh, we have the first full polycarbonate, which is injected plastic, uh, which is our $199 price range, and that's MSRP. Uh, and then we have the Armor Series, which is the 16-gauge powder-coated steel cases, uh, that we sell for $2.99. Um, and all of those can either be found on Amazon and or our uh, website at armsreachgun.com. Well, I'll tell you what, I think it's a great product. I know this is something that definitely interests me. I have grandkids, they're always around. My grandson's very curious about the, the guns and things like that because he hunts with me. And so, you know, for them, and, and they have all these toy guns nowadays and things like that, and so when they see it, they naturally want to look at it. It doesn't make the kid a bad kid, but you know what? Uh, we need to protect things from happening because, um, as you'll see in the YouTube video for Arms Reach, uh, uh, there's a great uh, demonstration there of a guy laying in bed. He hears something. He reaches down with his finger, touches it, bang, it's open. He's got his weapon in his hand, and he's ready to defend his home. So in order for us to keep these things close by where we can uh, get at it, we then make it vulnerable to the little hands and the people that shouldn't be getting at it. And this kind of solves all those problems all in one. Uh, how long have you been selling it? Uh, we've actually had product now for about a year and a half. Uh, we've actually had the corporation form for a little over three years, or coming up to three years. Uh, but product now has is, is really been strictly on the retail side of it. Now here at SHOT, we're kind of going into the big store uh, scenario, trying to, uh, trying to spread it across the country other than just us. So for those of you that are listening, uh, like Chase Outdoors, one of our sponsors, he got a nice outdoor shop up the road. Let me tell you, I think this thing would sell great. Uh, this is definitely a product that a lot of people can use. Uh, when you think about 199 or 299 bucks to be able to not only keep your house safe, but to be able to make sure that there's no unwanted accidents from kids or things like that, uh, very, very minimal investment for gun security. And uh, we all need to be responsible gun owners. Uh, especially in concealed carry and uh, and even not, just the people that have the stuff at home. Women that have a, a gun by the bed that live alone, uh, please put a sign on the door so I know when I'm stopping over. But anyhow, uh, <laughs> you do need to make sure you keep this thing safe from uh, the kids. So uh, armsreachgun.com? Yes, sir. Armsreachgun.com.
All right, and then they go to the website. Who answers the website? Is that you direct? Uh, yes, that is us direct. We we fulfill all the orders in house. We are the manufacturer. I didn't even ask you where you were out of. We're in Fort Smith, Arkansas. Born and raised. Second person I talked to from Arkansas today. So yeah, yeah, there absolutely. must be some guys down there that are really interested in hunting. There, there actually is. Yep, it's uh, some some uh, some good folks down in Arkansas. All right. So uh, again, I guess we're going to thank you for your time. We're going to keep on going through the 2016 Shot Show. See what else is new. And uh, if it looks like something that we think you'll be interested in, we're surely going to stop and bring it to you. You can find pictures of this product, some little video clips, things like that, on Biggie Outdoor Radio on Facebook and our Biggie Outdoor Facebook page, as well as our website, BiggieOutdoors.com. So, uh, again, thanks for listening. We're going to get right on down the line here and see what else we can find for you. And we'll be right back. Welcome to Blue Willow Cafe, where you'll find home cooking at its best. This cozy cafe offers an unforgettable breakfast that'll keep you coming back for more. Blue Willow's family-friendly atmosphere with made-from-scratch homemade food has become a favorite gathering place for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Enjoy delicious homemade soups, pies, day-of-the-week specials, and more. All in smoke-free dining with family-friendly pricing. Open seven days a week, 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Join us at Blue Willow Cafe, North 4th Avenue, Wausau. Check out Adrenaline Hydrographics in a Cedar Creek Mall. Put a custom finish on anything you want. Choose from over a thousand different patterns and colors, including camos, wood grains, carbon fibers, and custom prints like flames, skull patterns, and flag scenes. They can customize your Harley parts, baseball helmets, and hard hats, guns and gun stocks, fishing poles, deer skulls, coat racks, you name it. Pretty much anything you can paint, they can put a custom pattern on for you. Adrenaline Hydrographics in the Cedar Creek Mall. Every single day, people just like you are leading happier, healthier lives by working out at Snap Fitness. My name is Carol Wisey. I was overweight, not feeling so good about myself. I just woke up one morning and decided enough's enough. The hardest step is walking into that gym because I'm sure you're going to feel self-conscious. When I walked through the door for the first time, I can honestly tell you I did not feel that way. They have so many different membership options. You don't need to be locked into a long-term contract. My physical health since I started working on Samp Fitness has changed dramatically. I have a lot more energy. I'm happier. It will change your life. It will change your family's life. I promise you, if you take that first step and join Snap Fitness, you will not regret it. Fall specials are here at Snap Fitness. Join for only $8.95 during the month of September. And get ready for our open house celebration coming in.